You know, Tess, it's not just people who celebrate <laughs> Valentine's Day. The animals over at Wildlife World Zoo, well, they've got some love too. Sure, they come in pairs sometimes, you know. You have Samson and Sarabee the lions, black swans Jack and Sally, seahorses, sea biscuit and Shelly, whether they're mates for life or just besties, they all have a strong bond. <laughs> and then you've got Gibby. He's got so much love to go around. What's up, man? <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know, that's going to be the whole thing. Look at that. You just play some Marvin Gaye. You have the mood yeah, going. Well. I mean, that's what's happening here at Wildlife World Zoo. You know, you have just love is in the air. It's so exciting. You know, we have the penguins out here because you know what they tell me? That penguins, when they get together, they're monogamous for a long time. Something we could all learn from. And if you want to see who else is coupled out here, Christy, you have plenty. Tess and Scott were mentioning them. So if you want to come out here, you'll see love is going to be in the air here at Wildlife World Zoo. Absolutely. We have so many couples here at Wildlife World. It's so fun to go around the park and see the different couples and families. And a lot of the animals, the whole family gets in on raising the young. So it's really nice to see, especially on Valentine's Day. You know, we were showing these two youngsters when they were first born. They're now two months old. They will soon find the love of their life as well. Uh, what's the hardest part for animals when they're couples out here? Because I, obviously they get to spend a lot of time together. That's right. Yeah. And the animals that are monogamous, it's great, like penguins. So we have several mated couples out on exhibit. People can come out and see. Their parents are actually Wanda and Cosmo. They've been a couple for a very long time. And it's so sweet because you can see what they produce, these beautiful little babies. All right, we're taking a look at some pictures here that, that we have here of all the other couples that are out here that, that'll all be on display. Now, do you guys have a little uh, fun with them on Valentine's Day? What can people come see out here if they come out on Valentine's Day? Absolutely. Valentine's Day is just another reason for us to spoil our animals. It's so much fun. They'll get all kinds of fun Valentine's Day enrichment, and the keepers really like to play it up. Yeah, you know what? And so I, you can hear them uh, talking right now. So when they go in, um, do you guys want to be ring bearers for Scott and Lori's wedding? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, a little shy, Scott. So I'm just saying, I, so. I think it would be perfect if they walk yes. down if they walk down the hallway for your wedding and that, to bring the rings down. Could you imagine? They already have the tuxedos. They already got the look going right here. So I'm just thinking, if you wanted to add something a little different, you know, love is there, and they could, <laughs> they could carry the rings on their beaks right there. They might eat it. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, they're that ready. They're, <laughs> they're, they're thinking about it. They want to make sure that it's for real. They got to make sure it's a sealed deal because for them, okay. you got to stay together for a long time. That's the, that's the thing. You know what I mean? They wanna... Yeah. Well, I accept that message. That's a good one. Very good message. Yeah. Aw, they're so cute.